This is the last beater box of the year. Last beater box of 2020. Get excited, folks. This is Lola's beater box, actually. She was the one that purchased it, and she said, let's go all out, and she got an $1,100 beater box right here. Plus $50 to ship for a grand total of $1,150. That's your box. So you get to tell us about all the sneakers in this box. $1,100 beater box from Soul Supremacy. Let's find out what is inside. What do you see? Anything good? I see a lot of stuff. Which one do you want to pull first? The Lucy's. The Lucy's? Pull the Lucy's! Oh, wow. Look at these. So these right here are, uh, I believe that they're Jordan mids. Jordan 1 mids, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Kind of university blue colorway, but they're patent. And the patent leather is severely yellow. They are old. This pair of shoes dates back to 2003. Here. We got a pair of the Jordan 1 University Blue Patents. Now it kind of looks like a mid, but it is from 2003, and the shape on Jordans has changed slightly throughout the course of the year, so it very well could be a high, and I'm just totally fucking it up. But you can see that that University Blue is now more of a green kind of color due to aging. It has yellowed pretty substantially. The soles have also yellowed very, very substantially as well and could definitely use a nice session in the ice box. As far as the patent leather is concerned, I don't know that you can unyellow patent leather that has been yellowed to this degree, but I don't know, we might have to give it a shot. What do you think about these bad boys? The patent leather reminds me of like one of those, if you touch it and it gets warmer, the color will change. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously it won't, but that's what the material reminds me of. Overall a nice shoe, Jordan 1 from 2003, so I'm sure that there's some history there that I am unaware of. What's next? This one. We have a pair of Adidas, and these are some Adidas. Love me a good pair of NMDs. They definitely look pretty dead stock for the most part, but they're not factory laced, which makes me think that they may have been tried on potentially. And there might be like a little bit of scuffing on the boost, but it's really kind of difficult to say quite honestly. They look really solid. Again, maybe tried on condition. Maybe that's a little stain right there, hard to tell. But overall, they're in like crazy, crazy well-kempt condition if they're not dead stock. I'm um, seeing some spots on the bottom here, which makes me think that they've been at least tried on. A little bit of staining through here so definitely a little little light wear but overall they are in very solid condition and are looking like they could be brand new what do you think of these ones i like them i like nmds i like the colors i think they're pretty size nine and a half adidas nmd r1 switching it up going from an adidas to a nike this is an Air Force Max 2013, a model that I am not all that familiar with. Wow, these are interesting. They look really nice. They're in good condition, maybe very lightly worn. Overall, these look really, really clean. There's no creasing to speak of on the uppers. The midsoles look really, really good. Maybe a little bit of scuffing right over here. I think that'll probably clean off pretty easy. Coming onto the back of the shoe, see that nice air bubble there. Coming to the bottom of the shoe, very, very minimal wear on the outsole. Great condition, should clean up really, really easily, really, really nicely. What are your thoughts, Lola? They're heavy. I feel like my feet would get tired walking in them. They are pretty heavy. And I just don't like all red shoes. No. I'm not a huge fan of these. No. I think it's just because of the fact that they're all red. They'll probably be a good fit for somebody else, but as far as I'm concerned, I would toss these bad boys. Typically, I know I don't like all red shoes either. I like how they do have some gray and black to them too to offset some of the red, which is nice. Two thumbs down over in this general direction, but hey, it is what it is. On to the next. No. This one. The next box on top is another Adidas NMD box. I don't know the colorway. Ooh, pretty. These are in a size nine and a half. Looks like knit material. 
The uppers appear to be some sort of grayish bluish knit material. Midsoles are in very good condition. Minimal scuffing, minimal dirt staining. They're looking really good. A little bit of a scuff right here on the medial aspect of the heel. Coming over onto the medial portion of the midsole. It's all looking very good. Uppers on NMDs, typically you don't have to worry about too much unless it's a real light color. And then if we bring it to the outsole here, definitely somewhere, it's not awful, but there is a pretty reasonable amount of wear that can be easily cleaned off with a quick scrub down. Overall, very good condition, looking nice. I like these NMDs, I'm a fan of them. These ones are nice. Even though it's like very neutral and very plain, it's still kind of cool because it has that variation in tone kind yeah. of blues and grays. The texture and the different tones give it a lot of dimension. A nice dimensional shoe for you. Dimensional shoe is the best shoe because then you can wear it with anything. Lessons from Lola in style. Got a whole bunch of other shoes in this box here. Which one do you want to open next? Let's open the white one. We're gonna open up the white Jordan box. This right here is a Jordan something in a size 10. Let's see if Lola can guess this one. Uh, you're right, it is a 12. This is fancy. This is the Jordan 12 Wings. This black upper actually is kind of removable to a certain extent. And as these get scuffed up, it actually reveals a golden tone underneath. Oh man, I wanna do it. And if you check on the tongue, you'll notice that there were only 12,000 pairs of these that were produced and released to the public. This pair is number 3001. 3001 out of 12,000. Jordan 1 wings. These are in absolutely amazing condition. You can see no wear on the uppers there, so the gold paint underneath has not yet been revealed. Everything about the uppers looks really, really nice, minus a couple of little scuffs here and there, but nothing too major at all. These are looking crazy good condition. The only thing that needs some work are these outsoles, which look like they have some like mold on them or something. It's a really bizarre kind of staining of the outsole here. And I don't really know what's going on with that, but kind of weird. Definitely gonna need to give these a nice deep cleaning. So again, we got these Jordan 12 wings, crazy, crazy good condition, minus the outsoles, which definitely need a scrub down. After that though, they should be looking really, really nice. I like the detail on the back of the wingspan. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I'm so curious to know what it looks like when the gold shows through. Next shoe here, got a brown box to Nike. Air Diamond Turf 2 in a size nine and a half. All right, this is similar to it's a little bit like the other one to a certain extent. It's definitely got a, a little bit of a different build to it, but overall it is uh, shares a lot of striking similarities as far as the color and with the strap coming over the top. The midsole also shares some similarities as well. It is a lot lighter. I'll give it that. Nike Air Diamonds Turf 2 and what I would guess is like a varsity red colorway. Looking pretty nice. A little bit less red on these with some more hits of white and black. Outsole is looking pretty clean. Definitely needs a little bit of a scrub down, but overall, these are looking halfway decent. I think with a, a good scrub down, these things will be looking back to really, really good condition. Easy eight out of 10, maybe even closer to nine out of 10 condition. Yeah. I like the gold in it. The gold is a nice little touch. All right, Lola, what's next? I'm gonna go for this one. Another brown box Nike, size 10. These are a Nike Air Penny 5. Ooh, pretty. Oh wow, these are really cool. I so, wanna play laser tag with these. So these are Air Penny 5s, uh, which is one of Penny Hardaway's signature shoes with Nike. These have an iridescent upper, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that these are called the Invisibility Cloak or Mirror Cloak, something like that. So taking a look at this shoe here, you can see that there is a little bit of slight damage to the midsole here. I don't know if that's something that I can just scrub down. It looks like it's coming off a little bit as I just kind of rub it there with my fingers, but you can tell that the color is a nice iridescent color shift based off of the actual angle 
Definitely a cool looking shoe. There's a lot going on, so it's not for individuals who are uh, not fans of, you know, a lot, a lot of things happening with their shoes. Still a pretty nice looking shoe though. Probably a really good ball shoe. You can see on the back there, it says the storm is over. And you got the Penny Hardaway scent logo right there. Not too shabby though. I like these, they're cool. Size 10, they don't move too quickly, but Still a nice little pickup. Penny Hardaway shoes always tend to sell at some point in time. It just takes a little while. I feel like this is also probably the type of shoe that looks a lot cooler in person than it does in pictures. We're going to red box next. And most of you that are viewing this video already know exactly what these are based off the box. These are in a size 11 right here. Ta-da! That's a, that's, a, that's a pricey shoe, it's an Air Max yellow knit one. All right, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's a pricey shoe. It is a pricey shoe. I've seen these at conventions we've been to, and you always tell me that's a pricey shoe. It is a pricey shoe. <laughs> these go for a few hundred dollars. These are the Sean Wertherspoons. Sean Wertherspoon, the Sean Wertherspoon Air Max 197. It takes the upper of an Air Max 97 with the sole of an Air Max 1. But again, if you're watching this channel, you probably already knew that to begin with. These here are in pretty good condition overall. Due to the corduroy upper, it definitely wears a little bit more quickly. Kind of easy to tell when these things have been worn. And these are no exception right here. Still in very good condition, have a ton of life left in them. Some creasing here on the toe box, which is to be expected with the worn shoe of this nature. And as we come to the outsole here, you can tell that these things are in very, very clean condition. These look very solid. Easily the money shoe of the box so far. Probably a solid eight to nine out of 10. Probably nine out of 10 with the quick clean. Sean Wertherspoons, that's the money shoe. Is that the money shoe? Easily, hands down, number one shoe in the box. I don't know if it comes with the extras though. Uh-oh. It might be lacking the little patches, guys. We got the check on one and uh, the other one, we got the, the wave right there. But I'm not seeing any of the other replacement ones. So, so you might be SOL if you're looking for those. All right, we got the last shoe of the box coming up next. We got if we had to bring in our family member, Mr. Sir Donnelly. Last shoe in the box here. We have a Jordan. What is it? Oh, Jesus. And right here, this is a pair of Jordan 11s. These are the Jordan Concords. And these are actually one of the older pairs of the Concords too. These are from 2011. These are in very, very good overall condition. You can see a little bit of staining on the upper right there, but not a lot of creasing as we come over to the toe box area. It's looking nice and clean through there. A little bit of extra glue, which I'll get off for sure. Coming over to the medial aspect of the shoe, not really any stains to speak of. We're looking pretty good. Now, if I come to the sole here, this is where we'll start to see the more obvious wear, some yellowing around the pods, which for Concords is totally, totally normal. Not too dirty, really just kind of age-related wear, like the yellowing that you see right there. But overall, looking real, real good. So Jordan 11 Concords right here, and that does it for the box. Pretty solid box. Nine total pairs right here. We got at least three pairs that are really, really well worthwhile and could easily make back the money on the box. Six pairs to potentially make a profit on this box is what I'm thinking based off of the, uh, the quick numbers I'm running in my head. Hopefully that, uh, that stands true because it would be really nice to make profit on six individual pairs from this box. That'd be pretty possible. cool. So what do you think of your last box of 2020? It's a good way to go out. Good way to go out for sure. This is one of the stronger boxes I think I've gotten in a little while. And very confident will make a very good profit. I'm really happy with the number of hype pairs that I got in here. So that does it. Final beater box of 2020. Thank you to everybody that's joined in throughout the course of the year. I hope that we gave you a reason to check out future videos and stick around. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up for 2021, but now it's time to sell some of these kicks because I've amassed quite a few over the last year and uh, 
The collection of four sale kicks is just growing and growing and it's time to make some moves with what I already got. Make sure that you're checking out the website. Make sure that you're checking out the eBay. Make sure that you're checking out the Instagram and all the other social media because it's always posted up everywhere. Big things are coming. Big things coming. In the meantime, hope you guys had some happy holidays and a wonderful New Year. Take care, everybody. We're out of here.